Hey Scorpio, let's get ready to do your June 2022 reading. Um, we're going to go ahead and do a Celtic cross. Let me just say that hopefully you've seen your super short. Um, I'll leave that in the, in the description below, which is basically a uh, 60 second quickie reading. Okay, so occasionally I will be doing those. Um, that first super short, of course, is on Rumble, but it's actually designed to influence you to go to my Odyssey channel where I will be doing the super shorts uh, on a normal basis. They won't be here on Rumble. So if nothing more, check out your first one, which is here on Rumble, linked in the description below. But hopefully you'll follow my um, Odyssey channel, which I'm using as a backup, okay? Um, believe it or not, as much as I like Rumble, I'm using it as a backup, uh, the Odyssey channel. I won't put all of my um, videos there. It'll be the, like, the really important ones, the ones that like I don't really want to lose, perhaps certain documentaries, you know, stuff like that. And of course, the Super Shorts will be exclusive to Odyssey. But as much as I, I love Rumble, the bigger they get, Mm, the closer to YouTube they get. And I'm not saying that they're going to take away our free speech and things like that, but they're going to start playing by the rules of the normies the bigger they get. So, yes, I'm aware. Um, <clears throat> what else do I want to say? Uh, follow me as well on Locals. Uh, the Full Blood Moon full blood red moon coupled with a lunar eclipse coupled with uh, mercury retrograde that reading is on there um you don't have to be uh, a paid subscriber monthly subscriber you could just join for free and that reading in particular will be available to all locals people and um, i wanted to open it up to more people um by at least making it totally free on locals but you do have to be on locals to get it so i encourage you to follow me there on locals as well um uh yes paid subscribers do get exclusive stuff but um members there also get early stuff and in fact one of the things that will be early is the interview i'm doing with tyler bendison it'll be there for about a week um, on Locals before it makes its way onto Rumble. There may be two versions, by the way. I may do a live stream, and then there will be a um, more sort of professionally edited one. Um, so the live stream will be Locals, obviously. And um, so some people will get to see that live, obviously, if they want to. That'll be 7 p.m., Eastern Standard Time, or because we now, you know, Eastern Daylight Time, um, which I don't believe in that shit. They shouldn't be changing the times around, but um, I think that's the way they say it now. Eastern Daylight Time, because we're, you know, we've switched the clocks recently. Um, so 7 p.m., okay? We'll just, I'll just, I just say um, Eastern Time or um, New York City Time. Um... That blood, that full blood red moon, these fancy names for these moons, I actually don't enjoy that, but it is what it is. Uh, it's, it's the moon that we've got going on right now. Um, yeah, I really encourage everyone to see that. There's a lot, let's just put it this way. I think by the end of the summer, people are going to be, well, you, but even people around you, but especially you, going to be completely different human being at that point by the end of the summer is um, uh, what I think, especially those of you who are really kind of into this channel or channels like this, okay? So it was very important and that's why I wanted to open it up and not just make it uh, an exclusive for um, paying members. I want to open it up to just just be a locals follower um, for the We in 5D community there. Um, what else can I tell you? Uh, yeah, watch the, you know, whether you watch it on Locals or when it makes its way to Rumble, watch the Tyler Bendison interview. He's a law of attraction guy, entrepreneurial. So if you lean 
towards entrepreneurial things or have those tendencies, I think you'll be quite inspired by him. We're going to talk a lot about those types of things. And um, also, uh, he's an alkaline dieter. So we're going to see the benefits of introducing more alkaline foods into our diet, how it um, is associated with ascension. And also... Um, the, the vaccine, how to detox from it if you took it or if you're concerned about people shedding around you, okay? All right, <clears throat> so with that said, let me go ahead and begin pre-shuffling for you. Like I said, we're gonna do a Celtic cross and let's see what's going on for you, what to look forward to, what story may be going on, whatever exactly the case, okay? Um, let's see here. <clears throat> Okay, June 2022, Scorpio. Okay. All right, let's do seven overhand shuffles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is a general reading. Of course, it's not gonna fit for everybody. Don't make it fit, okay? I have noticed that some of the readings I've been doing, um, well, actually almost all of them, the story has been shifting. The story, so in other words, I may be reading for another set of signs, okay? Or your story has shifted as well. You've progressed and the story is different because you've shifted and, you know, so it could be your story even though it's a different story than what it usually is. Um, or it may not be because you may not be finished with the old story yet. Did that make any sense? Hope so. <laughs> All right. So let's see here. We're opening up with the Queen of Cups, which is actually um, your energy there. Okay. Crossing that. We've got the Two of Swords. All right. So crossroads in your life right now. We've got the three of cups in the foundation of the reading. Perhaps you're um, um, thinking of either some sort of reunion or it's something to connect, something to do with connection with somebody, okay? Definitely a lot of emotions here. I, I feel like there hasn't been a lot of money readings, financial readings, because most people with these tough energies going on right now, or intense energies at least, and deep energies. Most people are really kind of concerned with emotional stuff going on. Recent past, we've got the King of Wands, perhaps someone you're very attracted to or someone that's very attracted to you. Um, uh, anyway, let's continue on though. Crowning the spread, we've got the Page of Pentacles. Near future, Six of Swords. Pretty nice energy here too. The only kind of rough part is the two of swords so far what's in your energy king of swords all right some of you could be um on the cusp with libra okay just so you know i am picking up a little bit of that i think i picked that up as well in the um either in your super short or your last read no it wasn't your last reading because the last reading was the person on your mind anyway give me a second here because i want to take a sip of my coffee so yeah, you're super short. I think it called it out for being on the cusp with Libra. Okay, we have a lot of um, air energy here. Um, especially with the two of swords, that is Libra energy. But you have a lot of air energy here in general still, um, which Libra is air. Um, I feel like you're getting in touch with your emotions. Maybe you've all, always been in touch with your emotions, but I am getting... A sort of, um, you're trying to balance it out with logic as well. Maybe you've been burnt enough where you don't want to, you know, I, you know, not only do you not want to get burned again, like who wants to get burned again, right? And realistically, when it comes to life, the almost rule 
is that you'll get burnt at least a few times. Why? Because, well, it makes for a learning experience. So, um, but um, let me just fix these cards here, guys. But um, what I think is kind of relevant to you and sort of on your mind now, it's not only about not getting burnt again, but it's also about making wiser decisions with who you spend time with, as well as, um, now here's the more unfortunate part that I'm getting. There's a lack of motivation to even connect in a way. Lack of motivation to even connect. And I, and I get that, you know, I get that. All right. External to you, Knight of Cups. Well, if someone is romantically interested and has been, and I don't know why I heard this, but since you are not very inspired right now, um, I guess this is why I heard this. Since you're not very inspired right now, I was gonna say expired, what the hell? And since you're not very inspired, be careful because if this person is worthwhile, um, you may potentially lose them because you're not very inspired. But then again, perfect timing is everything. So if you're not very inspired, you have to re respect that as well of yourself, okay? Let's see though, let's continue on. We have the seven of wands in your hopes and fears. Again, lack of motivation. You may, you may be hoping like, some of you don't know where to put your motivation, but you may be putting your motivation in some cases with um, into finances. So it's interesting that I said I don't really see much about finances. I think a lot of people's finances are actually pretty squared away, pretty not too bad. Um, that's what I've been picking up with a lot of people so far. Some people have more newer opportunities financially than others, but even if not, they're just good in their finances. It's not a big deal that we have to read about it. It's more about the emotions here. Um, but yeah, you may be focused. Okay, let's see what the outcome. Okay, uh, Knight of Swords. All right, so a big, I don't know about a big chat, but a discussion, perhaps. Um, you would benefit from a, a certain discussion taking place. So we shall see. Bottom of the deck, we have the Ace of Cups. Opportunity here for new love. Absolutely, absolutely. All right, opportunity is there. Will you take it? Okay, you know, this is one of those kinds of readings, basically. Will you take it? Let's go straight into clarification with the after tarot. Let me go ahead and take that deck and begin um, shuffling. Have a sip of my coffee first. Okay. I'm drinking really good coffee from Honduras. No, Peru. Peru right now. Last week was Honduras. <laughs> I'm a coffee snob and fanatic um speaking of alkaline dieting if you're doing any of that the least acidic coffee would be sumatra it is not alkaline but it has the least acid is my point All right, Scorpio 2022 for June. Ooh, all these cards flew out. I saw the Queen of Cups. I saw the 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 uh, Death card. I saw the Two of Cups. Death card and Queen of Cups is very Scorpio energy. Two of Cups is Cancer in Venus. Okay, they're telling me to stop pre-shuffling and get to the main shuffle. All right, then. You are not... If the, whoever's interested, you are not going to make it easy for them for some reason. I don't know if you have a bit of a past with them, right? I don't feel like it's someone who's hurt you, but I feel like it's someone who may not have put a lot of motivation into the connection, basically. And so that may be a bit of a turnoff to you. And so you also have no, not a bunch of motivation, <laughs> but I don't think it's just a lack of motivation towards them. I think it's a lack of motivation in general in life right now, which honestly makes a lot of sense with these heavy energies of Mercury and retrograde and a freaking lunar eclipse that we just had with the full moon in your energy in Scorpio. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
and seven. I feel like these cards want to talk, but at the same time, they're working to behave themselves. Um, <laughs> to not look too desperate to talk in a way. I don't know what that's about. I know that's a weird statement I just made, but whatever. The lovers. Hmm. I think that you're very much in contemplative mode, hence the two of swords here, about um, how to approach love. I think you want it, but I don't think you know how to approach it. Um, that's not a derogatory statement towards you. It's very normal to not know how to approach it. I hear, I've been through plenty in my life. I don't need to go through plenty of garbage more, plenty more garbage than it, whatever, you know? And it's not that it was garbage in the past. It's simply that you learned some good lessons. It's just like, I don't want to do any more lessons. Can I just have some goddamn harmony? which the lovers is about. It's a number six card. Um, so you want this lover's energy from the higher polarity, you know? As Abraham Hicks um, you says, um, getting ready to be ready. And I think that's kind of what you're, it's a phrase that's relevant to you and what you're kind of trying to do, get ready to be ready. But how do I do that, you know? The first way to do that is simply intending to do it, even if you don't know exactly how to do it. What is the Two of Swords? The Strength card, there you go. Intending to do it, intending to make the right decision, okay? Um, you might be holding back to make some, um, you know, to make some decisions as far as the crossroads is concerned, as far as the decision that you have to make very soon is concerned. You might be holding back on that a little bit, but I feel it is coming from the positive place of, you know, first I have to be ready. Thus, I'm getting ready to be ready. I'm doing that first before I actually make the decision. But listen, with the, the lovers here, to some degree, is a choice card. It is, is a decision card. I don't often read it the, this way. Um, sometimes I think it's a bit of a cop-out to just go straight to that. I don't really like when readers kind of just go to that. Because this is really about an, an intense connection is what that card ultimately is about. But the decision part is uh, being highlighted here. Thus, I can pay attention to it in that way. I don't really, I don't even look at this card as 50% decision, to be honest with you. Um, I think that is just one aspect of it that is possibly not even um, a quarter of this card. That's just my opinion on that as a reader. Three of Cups, what is it? The Four of Cups. Again, lack of interest, lack of motivation. There's a part of you that wants it and the other part of you that kind of says it isn't worth it. A lot of signs are somewhat in this energy, by the way. Some of you are like, should I throw away a certain situation and start fresh? Others of you are like, Should I attempt a, trying again with a certain person? And again, it's not someone who's hurt you before. I get a lot of these readings where, oh, this person's hurt me, this person's hurt me. But, you know, I have an opportunity to try again. I think they're healed. I think this, I think that. For some of you, they're totally healed and you still don't want them because you still have a bad taste in your mouth about it. But um, this is not about that. I don't think you've been through so much trauma with this particular person. I just think it's just kind of like, it just never went anywhere. And again, there's not trauma necessarily associated, um, at least not in this story, right? Um, now, there may be a select few of you where there was a lot of trauma. In that case, I'm not picking it up here because that's not the majority of you. So since it's not the majority of Scorpios, it won't reflect. Now, you guys wear that is the case of trauma, but it's not reflected here. You may want to watch your moon sign, rising sign, or Venus sign in that case, where it may be reflected there. Um, let me see here. Yeah, you're just not motivated. Even if there was a lot of trauma, there's a lack of motivation to uh, pursue this. 
And yet, and yet you get the sense that it could be a good thing. It's like, but you just don't want it. It's kind of like being offered a really good job with really high pay, but it's kind of like, I don't fucking want to go to work there though. You know what I mean? It's, it can be somewhat like that. This person is attractive though. I will say that. Some of you may be concerned that this may only be like, you know, superficial sex connection, um, which I don't know. Let's see. What is this King of Wands? The Hierophant. Yeah, they're capable of a lot more. They are very attractive. They are. They are. Um, you may be afraid to hurt them in a way because they are capable of, of a lot more. But um, if you see any, if you have any interest in them, it may may actually only be sexual because they're so, um, they're so attractive. Um, and you may be afraid to hurt them because they may want more. And it's not to say that you don't want more, but you're not, you're not, what's the word? Um, motivated to go for more, you know? Um, hold on a second, guys. Let me get comfy in my seat. I don't know why I'm, I've been having issues with like every reading, just getting comfy in my seat. I think because my table is a bit low. So it's kind of hard to move my legs and everything. But anyway, um, they are, okay, they could be very spiritual as well. This may intimidate you. I mean, clearly you have a spiritual side as well. You're watching this reading, but from your perspective, in some cases, they may be a tad dogmatic even. I don't think this is for most of you, but they could actually be somewhat religious. But I don't think that's for most of you at all. Even if they're more um, spiritual like you, where it's not about dogma, you may perceive them as a bit hardcore. You may perceive them actually as out of your, oh, some of you may perceive them as out of your, your, what do you call that? Out of my league kind of bullshit statement, you know? What is this page of pentacles? The devil. There's that temptation, yeah. Sexual energy here. Um... You may be afraid that they can manipulate you a little bit, and that's not even really who they are. That's not who they... If you guys actually connect, if you allow for a true connection, for true intimacy, I don't mean in bed intimacy, sexual intimacy, I'm talking about, you know, heart to heart, mind to mind. This person is not manipulative. But again, I do see, uh, you may find them very seductive. But you may be misinterpreting this about them, okay? Um, also, even if they're not that seductive, you're still seduced by them because the, the attraction is there. The attraction is heavy. They're very willing, you know? They're very willing um, to work toward the long haul, stability and consistency. I see the energy is very new, right? So even if you knew this person for a long time, it's very new in the sense that you never took it anywhere with them. Even if you knew each other for five years, you never took it anywhere with them. So if you were going to t attempt to take it somewhere, it would be a whole new venture, a whole new journey. They're very sexually attracted to you as well, by the way. Even semi-seduced by you, it's mutual. Um, it's like knowing that there's a lot of potential here and being afraid. Now they may be a little bit too, but they're more willing than you. They're a little less like they'll, they'll shove their fears aside and behave fearless. All right. What is the six of swords? The knight of wands. Interesting. I'm not going to comment on that just yet. Okay. What is the king of swords? The nine of uh, uh, cups. Hold on. Let me make sure you can see that on camera. And yes, you can. So that's good. Let me move these cards up a little bit. Um, let me just pull out the rest of the cards because this is going to tell me what I need to know. Okay. Yeah, they are very, very capable of the long haul. 
listen, you have, you have, um, real, you know, longevity partnership material here, real hubby and wife material here. You, you do, you do, um, with this person, if you give it a go, all right, if you do, it's safe. I'm just telling you right now, I don't need to pull out no Oracle cards to let you know it's safe, blah, 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 blah. I'm telling you it's safe. Um, now, this is why I didn't want to comment on this, but now that I've got more out, I can tell you, I think you're probably going to take a risk with this. You're probably going to, to, um, this is also someone for some of you that you are going to take a little vacation with or do a road trip or something like that, which will prove to be very successful. All right. Ten of cups here. Yeah. Um, shit. You go from the nine to the 10 of cups. It's a good shit. <laughs> and it's not a bad one when I say that. Um, but it's just about, am I ready to put the time and energy? It's not that you're not ready to commit. Like you can commit. You don't have commitment issues, but you do have issues with giving time and energy. Perhaps you're afraid, is this going to be a fucking waste of my time again? Kind of thing, right? What's the Knight of Swords, please? The Six of, yeah. So, um, I think that, again, you're going to take a leap of faith in this, right? Even though I don't have the full card here, I still have a lot of new beginning cards, as well as a lot of um, take a chance cards, right? Knight of Wands, take a chance card, right? Ace of Cups, new beginning card right? Um, a desire to take it the long, take it, take it for the long haul, 10 of cups here, um, which is also the hopes and fears position here also doubles as advice. So your advice is to go for it, to be honest with you. You, it would be very hard to fail here. It would be very hard to lose. So if you've been looking for confirmation that you can go for this, it's saying you can go for it, guys. What's at the bottom of the deck? The King of Wands, there he is. Now I say he because it's king, but this has got nothing to do with gender, okay? King of Wands showing up here in the past. King of Wands showing This is someone that you've dealt with before. It's not someone that you had this heart-wrenching experience with. Now, for some of you, that may be the case. It's not the majority of you. In that case, watch a different reading. Moon sign, rising sign, or Venus sign, or literally watch a different reader because they may be picking up on more your energy. But most of the Scorpios that I'm talking to here now have moved beyond that heart-wrenching kind of storyline. This is someone who did not, you know, destroy your heart at one point. But I feel like you met them at the wrong time, okay? I feel like you met them at the wrong time. And that's why, you know, when you were ready, they weren't ready. They were, you know, doing something else. When they were ready, which I think is now, you're kind of not ready now. So you're kind of doing something else. So I think it's about shitty timing in a way, which in reality is still perfect timing because there's a reason Source would not let you get together. But you do have to be a cooperative component to getting together. And I think it's time for you if you want this, if you want this happily ever after, it's time for you to now be a cooperative component, component because Source is saying, all right, it's time for the time to be perfect if you want to work with that. I'm giving you perfect timing now, Source is saying. After the King of Wands, which is here for the overall energy, we have the Ace of Pentacles, more new energy, more new beginning energy. You can have a new beginning with them, but more than that, again, this is never re really a person that you had any kind of beginning previously with. It's just someone that you know, that you both thought of, ah, there's a lot of potential there, but you've never done anything with the potential because the timing has always been off before, okay? You're in a very good place. I think you're, this single energy that you've got here with the Nine of Cups is very positive. It's very, it's very, um, um, You're, you're, you're perfectly single, um, and, and if you wanted to, you could be ready to mingle successfully, is what I'm trying to say here, okay? Um, there's nothing more, well, I'm not, don't take this the wrong way. There's always something for you to learn. But in terms of dating, you're ready. You can do it when you want to, if you want to, all right? You're at the Nine of Cups. 
there's only one more step if you want it, and that's the 10, the 10 of cups. Look, it's showing up right here, nine, 10, okay? Nine, 10. Um, now, um, I think you're gonna go ahead and take a leap of faith. Let's get a few clarifications, additional clarifications here. I don't need to, I don't need to do any. This is extra. I already did one round of clarification. I don't really need to do any. This is very clear. Um, but I'm just going to get a few more details, I guess, here. We're going to do, um, we're going to talk about your, we're going to clarify and talk about your, um, um, what do you call it? Your, um, lack of motivation. We're going to talk about the leap of faith that you're going to take. Some of you will even do a, um, what do you call it? You'll do a vacation with this person or a road trip or something like that. So you'll have quality time and you're going to have the capacity to figure things out even more with that quality quality time. It's going to be really cool. Okay. Now that's not for everyone, but some of you will do that. Okay. Um, am I, hold on. All right. They, sorry. They're giving me shuffling instructions. Um, I think what's going to result is you're going to have a healthy conversation with them. Some of you don't want this person to get away, ultimately. Some of you are going to have a, a bit of a wake-up call and say, oh, you know what? Man, I don't want the lack of motivation in dating to get the best of me, and I miss out on something good. So I'm going to go ahead and um, push myself and allow myself to go for it, you know? Um... And I think it's going to result in a successful conversation here. Successful conversation. I feel like they have been giving you lots of signals and lots of communication. And they may stop now because they've given you enough and they're saying, okay, Scorpio's not interested. That's okay. We'll, you know, I'll be their friend or be amicable. And, but I've got to kind of move on. I think it's going to be up to you to kind of like, start taking the communication somewhere that they've been trying to give to you, but you've kind of been like, eh, yeah, okay, okay. You know? So uh, let's talk about your lack of motivation first. One, two, three. Uh, six of Swords came out here. So I'm going to take it. Four, five, six, and seven. Okay. Six of Swords. Aha! With the Six of Cups. Yeah, you do have a connection with this person. You know them from the past. It's just not, and they feel good to you too. You just, it's not one of those past person stories of, oh, they hurt me and I don't know what to do. It's not that, it's not that. They feel quite nice to you, in fact. Um, you are gonna move towards them. You're gonna, there's this discipline here of, you're gonna make a choice and you're going to make a choice within that fork in the road, within that crossroads that you're at. And you're going to make a choice towards them more than likely. That's the general energy. That's the, sorry, the general direction your energy is going in for the majority. But you all have your free will. You could definitely go ahead and not choose that. But um, if you do choose that, I think you will not be disappointed at all, I have to tell you. Yep, four of wands. Very good energy here. I think you're, this is something you're waking up to and... You don't want to, yeah, you are waking up to it with the high priestess at the bottom of the deck. You're waking up to it and you don't want to miss out. Most of you are going to make a move here because of the fact that they've made all the moves they can already. Yeah, they've made all the moves they can already. Let's go ahead and get more on this leap of faith that you're going to end up taking very soon as well as the um vacation that some of you will probably take some of you not all of you one two three four five six seven oh felt good that shuffle felt good and also the page of swords uh came out here okay all right page of swords with the three of pentacles yeah Again, communication, it is light at first, and the King of Cups. I do think some of you will take a fun road trip and do something fun together. And if it's not a road trip, um, it is a um, something you do. It could literally be something fun like, let's go to the carnival. 
Let's go to the arcade. Fun stuff where you can connect with, in some cases, sort of nice, heartwarming childhood innocence. Let's go to the carnival. Let's go to the arcade. Let's do this. Let's, you know. So, um... Not for all of you, but for some of you, there could be a little bit of spying as well, like social media stuff, nothing hardcore. I do see some of you, it, these walls will break down, but I do see some of you with some walls up and kind of keeping things on the friendship level, which is a little... I don't know, maybe you feel it's necessary, but it's not that necessary. Eventually those walls will break down though. That's the good part, okay? So you're not gonna keep someone friend zoned and they're certainly not gonna keep you friend zoned either, all right? Some of this energy can be in reverse, but either way, the outcome is good. Like the, the, the direction of the vibration is good because both y'all are not gonna keep each other friend zoned. Seven of Swords at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, there is a little bit of that sneaky sort of energy of cautiousness, cautiousness, right? I'm hearing that they don't appreciate that you have avoided them a little bit, but they are very forgiving. They, they're very forgiving because there hasn't been, for most of you, any sort of traumatic heartbreak here that you've given to each other. This is why... Um, this is why the avoidant energy is not something that's too hardcore where somebody feels upset, super upset about it or anything. You know what I mean? Um, it's not like y'all are married and then someone's being avoidant. What like you like that would be bullshit. Like, how are you going to have this connection of marriage and then someone's avoidant? It's not healthy at all. Um, <clears throat> let's, um, shoot. I was gonna say, let's see what's on this person's mind more, but honestly, they're per, your per, this person, your, it's not your person. You, you should, you, you should make them your person. And I hate readers who say, oh, that's a strong word. I don't know if I hate, but you know, I hate when they say, I hate the action of when they say, I, um, your person, your person, your person, and not your person. If, <laughs> It's not likely your person, you know what I mean? Um, they're your person if you're literally with them and literally married to them or literally have a relationship with them. But um, anyway, what I can say is that you should make them your person. This is this reading is very positive in that sense. But I was going to clarify this, but really I don't need to. Their intentions are very clear, very clear, which is romance, romantic intentions, very cute flirtatiousness, uh, loyalty, it's not flirting just because there's some sort of, you know, free spirit, uh, you know, flirt all over the place, social butterfly. Um, now, they may be a social butterfly, but they're not some sort of flirt all over the place whore, um, you know, or behavior that way. And just because you flirt, flirt all over the place doesn't mean you're a whore. But let me just say they're not that. They're not um, either of those things, really. Um, um they're very respectful, very loyal, okay? Listen, the Knight of Pentacles says so, okay? So their flirting is uh, exclusive to you. You can be very happy to know that. Um, and um, the, yeah, that's it. We don't even need to dive into that. It's, you know, you. I don't know if you trust it because they are so attractive that people will give them attention. But they don't respond to that, especially if they're attached. They're very relationship-oriented, indeed, okay? So you, they love to flirt with the right person. They love, they enjoy it. They really do with the Knight of Cups there. And that may confuse you. It's like, are they really capable of Knight of Pentacles energy? Well, they are because Knight of Pentacles is there. Now, you won't say, are they capable of Knight of Pentacles energy? But what you'd actually be saying, are they capable of true stability, longevity, uh, um, in some cases, uh, you might specifically be focused on monogamy. Are they, you know, capable of this, you know? Let's go ahead and look into more of the outcome, all right? 
man, the overall energy, let me just jump to that for a second, is so beautiful because you got a perfect mesh here, a perfect mesh of energy here in a sense of it's it's like they're incredibly good looking and stuff like that, even to the point of sexy fantasy. And yet it's full of love, affection and and um, um, loyalty is the word I'm looking for. Um, it's that type of thing. So it's interesting. And I feel like that's a dichotomy that you you kind of may not trust. All right, let's go to this King of Swords with the Six of Wands in the outcome. Sorry, Knights of Swords with the Six of Wands. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Ooh, I saw Temperance, cool. Ooh, these cards just wanna jump all over the place. Okay, let's see what we got here. Nine of Pentacles, Five of Swords, Hermit. Bottom of the deck, we have the Strength card. All right. So again, I do get a lot of cautious energy from you, uh, from them. Um, uh, some of you are just, I don't think you've been through a ton of hardship with them, but you've been through hardship in previous relationships and it's like, is it just gonna end up the same type of hardship, right? Um, so you're really looking into this here. Um, uh, that's what you've been doing for a while, really looking into it, uh, vetting, um, scoping it out, making sure before you take that Nine of Pentacles energy, which you are, and I think they are too, um, but before you take that Nine of Pentacles energy and make it the King and Queen of Pentacles, you know, um, you're going to step in at the last minute. You're going to do all of the sort of inner work that you need to do, the inner research. It comes off that way to me. Introspection. And at the last minute, you're going to pop in and say, you know, you're going to match them in what they've been offering the entire time, but you kind of weren't ready for, and you're gonna to start to match them. And um, there's a huge possibility that it's gonna turn out in a huge success here with the six of uh, wands here. Um, it is the likelihood, okay? Uh, everybody has their free will, and I do think this person is likely to use their free will based on the current energy patterns we see here in this spread. Um, they will use their free will to go for it. This person doesn't want to be single anymore, by the way. Let me just tell you, this person, this person wants connection and they want to settle down, okay? They, they want to focus on one special person. They really do. They really do, okay? Um, it may have not been something that you believed was true about them, okay? Um... And you want that too, but again, it's the lack of motivation and the lack of effort, willingness, the lack of willingness to see if if the risk is worthwhile and they're saying it is, okay? Let's close this out with an Oracle card, Angel Answers. You may want to ask a question. It may be directly answered by this card or at least there'll be a general message here for you. One two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, unlikely is what we've got and remain positive here, okay? So um, remain positive at the bottom of the deck. Um, unlikely, well, I don't know what question you asked, okay? I don't know what question you ask, um, but I don't usually interpret these uh, Angel Answers card because it's meant, it's mostly meant to answer your question, but I know that unlikely could be a little bit of a like, well, what does that mean exactly? But um, 
I think it has to do with they're unlikely to be the problematic situation that sometimes you thought. They're too attractive. It's too good to be true. Out of my league. Um, these thoughts you're having are unlikely. You know, um, th could this be another devil uh, energy, non-committal, non, you know, uh, more based on sex than anything? Um, just a disappointment? Unlikely. I think it has to do a lot with that, okay? But also take into consideration the specific question that you answered. Um, but also take into consideration, remain positive. All right. Um, lots of good stuff here. Lots of good stuff here. If you felt that unlikely was answered, was answering your question, uh, in a strange way, um, don't be deterred by that. Okay. Um, the most important thing here is your tower reading. Okay. All right. If you want to do a personal reading with me, my email is in the description below. Email me and I will reply with a form for you to fill out. Fill it out and we'll schedule your reading ASAP. Uh, please leave a thumbs up for this video. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Those of you who've subscribed, thank you uh, because we just hit um, the 5,800 mark. So we're nearing 6,000 subscribers. Awesome. Um, I'm elated about that. And don't forget to share this video on social media so that we can get more people to join the We in 5D Tarot community as well as the Rumble community. Again, join my Odyssey channel. Join my Locals um, community. Um, the join button for that is right next to this video. Okay? And I will talk to you soon.